Have you been thinking about getting a Tovala but aren't sure how good the meals actually are? Stay tuned for my non-sponsored review. Hello, this is Nan from Nan Loves Food. I am here to review uh, Tovala with you. So a couple of months ago, I got um, you know some Facebook advertising for the Tovala, and I thought it was a really cool concept. So the Tovala oven is a compact, uh, basically convection toaster oven, but it also has some really unique features in that it also steams. So the ability to steam really helps the food get to exactly the right consistency. So combination of the app and the pre-programmed situations on the machine itself create the perfect way to cook your food. So it's not just baking, it's not just steaming, it's not just broiling, it does all of those things in the correct sequence to make sure that your food is as good as it possibly can be. So I wanted to do a review. I've got four of the gluten-free meals that they offer. With the gluten-free meals, there are not always as many options as I would love, but they there are enough options generally to at least fulfill a four box commitment. So uh, let's get into seeing what we've got here. So today we are gonna be trying the pesto smothered chicken breast, the sweet chili glazed tofu steak, the braised pork pozole verde, and uh, chicken parm. So the chicken actually comes outside of little boxes, but I do really appreciate the way that the packaging works. So I'll show you that here in a second. So we're gonna start with one of the ones that I absolutely know that I love because I've had it before, it's so good. Uh, so the pesto smothered chicken. So in the Tovala box, you get this little instruction card with a QR code. That QR code you actually scan on your machine and it will uh, know exactly the right way to cook this meal. Uh, it also comes with your instructions for prep and um, you know, anything you need to do to make it happen. Uh, one thing I will say about the Tavala meals that I absolutely love and think is amazing is that seriously prep has never taken me more than one minute, which compared to some other meal kits is wonderful, wonderful. So it comes with your prepackaged ingredients like this and when the chicken comes shrink wrapped, which does help it last longer, uh, you'll get two little kits. So the instructions on this one are very simple. Um, we're gonna separate the trays, uh, grab the chicken, open it, put it in the tray. We're gonna shake the pesto on there, shake it, and then spread it on the chicken breast. And then we're literally ready to cook. That's the whole thing. So I'm gonna do that now and uh, get this thing in the oven. Okay, so as you can see, it did come with the balsamic drizzle as well but we don't put that on until the end. So um, once we're done, we'll transfer everything to a plate and then gently um, drizzle our balsamic. So we don't need that for this step. So I've got the grains and beans here that look awesome. And then our little pesto container, this is how it came. Just shake it up. Um, I will say I don't always use the aluminum pans that come with these. Um, I bought these gratin dishes on Amazon and so you know, I'll cook it as instructed for this video, but if I'm just doing it at home, these are awesome. I will link them below, but they're perfect for like a piece of fish or a piece of chicken to, to cook in your tovala. So we've got the pesto. Got the pesto out of the jar. Just gonna spread this on the chicken breast. And then that's literally it, we're ready to go. So we're gonna take these over to the Tovala. So on our Tovala oven, we have uh, this QR code. We're going to push the button that says scan. And as you can see, it will look for something to scan. So we'll just... So the Tovala recognizes it. It knows that it'll take 20 minutes to cook. So all we have to do is open her up, throw our chicken and beans in, 
and push the start button. So I just got notification on my phone that my Tovala meal is now ready, which I do have to say I really appreciate about the Tovala meals because I can literally be in the other room or on the other side of the house and um, get those notifications and know that my food is done. So here's what it looks like inside the oven. And we're gonna get it out and plate it. So here's what it looks like straight out of the oven. The pesto got a little brown on the edges, but that's fine, you won't notice it at all. I think I'm just gonna drizzle this extra pesto sauce over the chicken and over the stuff. So the instructions say to transfer the chicken and quinoa onto a plate, and then optional, we can um, shake it and drizzle on top of the chicken and or the quinoa. So I'm just gonna snip the top off of our little packet here and do a little drizzle just over the quinoa, see how we like it. And if it's good, I'll add some more to the pesto or to the chicken later. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so we have our beautiful mm, <laughs> pesto and uh, white bean quinoa. We'll give this a taste and see how how it is. One of the things I really love about the tovala is using that combination of steam. Really make sure that you have a nice juicy chicken breast. So I don't know how well you can tell here, but that is some juicy chicken. Yum. Mm. Good fresh basil pesto. You cannot beat it. Yeah, the chicken is super tender and moist and delicious. No complaints. That pesto is so good. Mm. The quinoa is good. Um, the balsamic drizzle is very strong. So if you're not a balsamic person, you might want to back off or not put that on there at all. And the only other minor criticism might be that some of the quinoa that was on the side of the pan got a little crispy and so that's adding a little crunchy element that isn't necessarily a pleasing crunchy element. But it's fine, it's good. Next up we have the braised pork pozole verde. I'm a sucker for all things Mexican food, truly. Um, so in this one we have a pozole base some southwestern grains they're calling them, a little bit of queso fresco, and then we have the cutest little packet of hot sauce you ever did see, that's Cholula, um, which is one of my favorites. So I'll probably actually keep this and use the Cholula I have in my fridge because um, this is great to, for lunches or picnics or whatever, I love having these little packets around. And then our queso fresco just came in our tiny little cup there. So the only instructions for this are to remove the plastic film on both trays. So they come with, with this plastic film on top. They're very easy to just pull right back. And the only instruction that we have to do other than opening them, which is pretty easy, uh, is to add a little bit of water to our pozole, which makes sense because the pozole is generally more of a stew consistency. And so having a little bit more liquid in there makes a lot of sense because they don't want to pack liquid into these little containers and then ship them. That sounds like a recipe for disaster. So it says we just need um, a quarter of a cup and Tavala actually when you get your oven sends you the cutest little Tavala measuring cup. It says Tavala on the side. So you could literally do this with no kitchen. If I were a single person I would absolutely love this like even more than I do as a married person because it's just so convenient to have really, really good food cooked quickly and easily without a whole bunch of fuss. So I just dumped my quarter of a cup of water in with the beef pozole. I'm gonna take a spoon, give it just the tiniest of stirs, and we'll get it in the oven. Oh, the other thing that's really neat that I wanted to point out is that Tobala is kind enough to include the um, macros, the calories and fat and all of all of that information on the card. 
So this meal has 470 calories. So I think that this would be amazing if you are trying to, to diet or lose weight or cut back on portions because it gives you a really reasonable portion, um, which you know restaurants and such don't. So that was literally it, 20 seconds of prep, maybe pour water in, put the film off, take the film off. This is the grain. And then this is our pozole, which it doesn't look like much, but neither does real pozole. So I'm sure it'll be delicious. So we are here at the oven. We'll open her up. Um, one tip, if you do get, I have I have a second generation Tobala. Um, I know there is a first generation. I would imagine someday there will be a third generation. But on the second generation, I know this is true because a lot of people have said it. Um, the back corner here is extra hot. So on the side of the light bulb, um, just keep that in mind. If you want something extra crispy, put it on that side. If you don't, don't. But I always put the protein on that side to make sure it gets good and crispy. So I hit the scan button. There she is, 19 minutes. Hit start, and there we are. All right, so the pozole just came out of the tovala. It is steamy and delicious. I cannot wait to give this a try. I'm gonna start by putting the quinoa down on the side. Okay, so you can see the stew is definitely stew-like. I'm just gonna give that a quick stir. It looks like it's got hominy and roasted peppers, and obviously the beautiful pork. Some tomatoes. Yum. And I will often supplement these dinners with a salad or some sort of green vegetable. Bag salads are always an easy choice. Okay, my instructions say uh, transfer the greens into a bowl and pour pasoli on top. I kind of put it a little to the side, but I think it'll be fine. And then all we need to do is sprinkle on our queso fresco. So I'm sure that, that those grains will absorb some of that liquid and make it a stew-like consistency. And then I've got a whole bottle of the real thing, the Cholula. Delicious. Looks amazing. We're gonna give the braised pork pozole verde a try. See if this is any good. It certainly looks delicious. It's very hot. Yeah, the corn is nice and crunchy. It's got that good, like, fresh corn texture to it. The pork is super tender. Obviously, the hot sauce adds a lot. Not getting a lot from the cheese, unfortunately. I think that would probably add a lot to the dish. But overall, solid 8 out of 10. Delicious food. We are on to the dish that I am most skeptical about. Um, I love good tofu and bad tofu is awful. So we're gonna see how the sweet chili glazed tofu steak, small rant, don't call anything that's not a steak a steak. There are not cabbage steaks or cauliflower steaks or tofu steaks. Cows make steak. Steak is delicious, but it is not tofu, sorry. So this one, the instructions are very simple, just like all of the tovala recipes, super simple. We're gonna remove um, the film from the tray, this is our tofu steak. I understand what they're trying to do with their marketing, I'm not buying it. Um, then we're going to empty, it came with this cute little bag of fresh green beans, um, and we'll just empty those into our little tovala tray. Uh, we have a sweet chili glaze that came with this, and that is gonna go, um, we're gonna shake it and spread it over the tofu. And that's all. I'll put it in the oven and then when we are done, we have a peanut sauce uh, that we are going to toss the green beans in. We'll see how this goes. It smells and tastes like nothing. Or it smells like nothing because it's tofu. If it were me at home and I weren't preparing this for you guys, I would salt my green beans because salt makes food taste better. But we're gonna go with it as it is because that's how I was told to do it. 
I'm not a very good rule follower, but I'm trying to be one for you. We're gonna push the button that says scan. This one is only gonna take 17 minutes and 30 seconds. And again, I am putting the protein on the hotter side because I want my tofu to have some texture. And we'll hit start. Okay, so the sweet chili glazed tofu steak just came out of the tobala, and I have to say, it does look delicious. There is like definitely some broiling that happened on top um, with that glaze, so it got a little, you know, hopefully a little texture and some flavor. So this bodes well. We'll see. We'll see how it tastes. So the first thing is the green beans. So um, they admittedly look a little plain and bland, but we're gonna mix in that peanut sauce and hope that that all works out. So here's the peanut sauce. I'm gonna mix it in my uh, tovala tray here. Uh, now I will occasionally reuse these or save them and, and cook with them, but not always. So it just kind of depends on how gross they get in the cooking process. Okay, so the green beans are all coated with the peanut sauce. There is a little extra moisture in the bottom of the pan, and I'm gonna do my best to leave that in the pan, because I do not want soggy green beans. But there's all that liquid in there. We're just gonna leave that out. And then finally, our delicious looking tofu steak. So here we have our tofu steak with green beans. We'll see if this ends up being any good. The green beans are good, but they could use a little salt. You know, salt helps everything. The sauce is very good. It's got a nice combination of like, you know, sometimes when you have a peanut butter sauce, it's overwhelmingly peanut buttery. This has a nice set of acid um, and it's not overbearingly peanut buttery. Um, and I think there's some sesame seeds, sesame oil in there. So yeah, pretty good green beans. I will salt them before I eat any more. Okay, here we go, tofu steak. You know, it's not bad. It kind of tastes like a piece of tofu that you slathered with the sweet chili sauce, but that's not a bad thing overall. Um, the textural situation is not ideal. The corners are a little crunchy, but the rest is kind of, you know, smooshy, like foamy, like tofu is, which is fine. Um, honestly, I'd eat it. It's not a bad meal. Uh, I would probably pair it with rice or with a salad or something to, to kind of bulk up the meal a bit. This one only has 330 calories. So for a lunch, probably that's fine, but for a dinner, maybe you would want a, a little additional heft to that meal. Um, I also think some rice or something neutral, or even like a collie rice if you're trying to stay low carb, um, would neutralize that sweet chili sauce. It definitely has more of a kick than the brand that I purchase regularly. So I think that's good, but you know, that's a matter of choice. So overall, I'd eat it. Um, would I look forward to it? Probably not. So I don't know, six out of 10, totally edible. Fine, fine, it's fine. The final meal is the chicken parm. I know I love this. It's really good. And the thing that's particularly cool about this one, even though we got green beans again, which you might think, oh, the same vegetable twice in one week. Well, first of all, like, okay. Um, but second of all, the difference between the peanut um, green beans and then these are gonna be pesto green beans. So their pesto sauce on green beans is phenomenal. It is so good. So I'm not concerned about having green beans twice in a row. Although I am going to go ahead and keep my better judgment and give these a little, a little hit of salt just to make sure that we are properly seasoned. Cause ain't nobody likes vegetables that don't have enough seasoning or any food. So 
So the chicken breast, again, just like the first one, comes in this little resealable bag. Um, one of the questions that seems to come up in the forums a lot, there's a Facebook group full of Tobala users that you can join, um, is can I freeze my meals? And the answer to that question is probably not. Um, things like fresh green beans, you can't just throw in the freezer and have it be okay. It's not okay. Um, it You need to blanch them before you freeze them. So that will not work the way you hoped it worked, but I would imagine something like the pork pizzole would freeze very well because all the vegetables are already cooked. Everything is kind of ready and prepared. So if that one you threw in the freezer, I'm sure it would be fine. So the Parmesan chicken, uh, chicken parm, we are going to basically just add marinara sauce and cheese to the top of our chicken breast. What could possibly go wrong? What's not to love? The pesto you do not add. This is the tomato sauce. I'm a little, like there is no, it appears to be no seasoning in there whatsoever. Can you see that? It's just like straight sauce, like just tomato. So we'll see if that makes a big difference. I don't know if that's new or if I just noticed that this time, but we're just gonna squeeze the pouch all over the chicken breast, like so. Open up a little cheesy and sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. One of the things that I love about this particular one is that because the cheese goes on top of the chicken, um, the tobala actually broils it at the end. So the cheese will more than likely get that beautiful brown bubbly goodness that you really want to see in a chicken parm. So chicken parm is one of those recipes where when I think chicken parm, I think fried, but grilled is good too. Okay, so we're all set. Chicken, sauce, cheese, green beans. I'm gonna hit these with a little salt before they go in. I do actually really like this Costco Himalayan salt. I think I like the grind more than I thought I would. I didn't really, you know, with pepper, you expect to have an extra flavor from the ground, like the freshly cracked. I didn't think you really got that with the salt, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I really like this stuff. All right, so chicken and salted green beans going in the oven. Twenty minutes. I do also really like that it tells you what it's doing as it's doing it because I'm nosy and can't mind my own business. But right now it's baking and you can tell that it's baking because it's doing that. But when it steams, you'll see a little icon over here or broils, you'll see an icon over there. And so that way you can kind of always keep up with what it's doing. Cheese is getting all broily. So the chicken parm just came out of the oven. As I was hoping, we got a good bit of color on that chicken, which is awesome. Okay, so we did cheat and salt our green beans because Salted food tastes good and unsalted food tastes terrible. We have our tiny little jar of pesto. Just dumping that right on top of the green beans, which we will then stir and add to the plate. Again, and this just this just is a hazard of cooking, but the green beans will release moisture as they cook. And so you don't necessarily want all that moisture on your plate. So we're just leaving a little bit of the water down at the bottom of the pan. We don't really want to eat that. And the chicken, we're just going to scoop out. Here we have chicken parmesan with herb roasted green beans from Tobala. So we're going to go ahead and give this a try. The chicken with the Tobala delivery service always comes out super moist. So I know it's going to be good. Mm. It's really good. The chicken is seasoned super well. I do believe when they put it in those little pouches that they add a brine to that. So the chicken is good and seasoned all the way through, which really enhances any sauce that you put on it. When you have a well seasoned piece of chicken, um, you're starting off from a good place and they are, they know what they're doing there. Um, the cheese got all brown and bubbly, which makes a huge difference. Um, I do actually notice that there's not a ton of herb flavor in the sauce, which I'm sure they did on purpose because it's an herbed green bean 
but I do, I am lacking a little oregano or something there. But overall, very good. Herbed green beans. They're fine. Um, they would actually probably benefit from even more salt than what I hit them with. The herb sauce is um, just kind of bland in flavor, which is surprising because the pesto is so flavorful on the pesto chicken. So I don't know if it just needed some cheese or it needed some um, more herbs or different herbs, but they're fine. They're green beans. Um, if you, it, there seems to be kind of a hard line with green beans where some people like them super soft, like a canned green bean, and some like them super crunchy. This is somewhere in between. For me, it's a very happy medium. I pretty much like any green bean you give me, so I'm not going to complain too much. But these are very good. So overall, I think the Tobala meal service is is an incredible convenience. Um, it takes no time to prep. It's good food. It's nutritious food. It's not crazy calorically. So to me, that feels that feels like a good deal. Uh, the downsides are that they don't offer a ton of gluten-free options, which is kind of a shame, uh, especially for those of us who eat almost exclusively gluten-free. I wish that they had more for us. And there are some weeks that I literally cannot order meals and might like to, but they don't have enough to fit my four meal plan that actually are marked gluten-free. Also, a lot of the starches are not gluten-free options, so they'll occasionally have a potato, which is gluten-free. Um, but these, the the tofu steak, I believe, had a different option that had grain, but I couldn't get it because it wasn't gluten-free. I know that the Parmesan chicken also had an option that had a starch, but it was also not gluten-free. So while you can customize it to your needs, you know, um, it's it's not 100% reliable. And so if there were one week where it was like, man, my Tobala meals are going to save me because I don't have time to cook. There's a big project at work or there's a big something going on or you know, whatever the deal is, um, it's they're not always gonna reliably have meals that I can eat. So overall, the food is great. Um, it's very, very good, especially because it's no work. Uh, it is a little pricey. I think it comes out to about $12 a meal, um, which if you're feeding two or three or four people, obviously that can get really out of hand very quickly. But um, if $12 is a normal Wendy's drive-through for you or a Chick-fil-A drive-through or whatever, um, this is a much healthier option. So if it's this or drive-through, I would definitely pick this instead. But um, if you're feeding a family, it's probably not the best for you. Uh, I do know that people with children really enjoy the scanning feature. So a lot of Trader Joe's meals, you can actually scan and they have, if you go to tovala.com, they've got a whole list of uh, brands like Amy's is one of the brands that you can scan, beep, and it knows exactly how long to cook it. And their chefs actually design cooking patterns or cooking sequences that are perfect for that food. So that's kind of nice because you might actually get a better quality product out of the Tovala than you would necessarily out of your oven if you just put it in. Certainly better than the microwave. Um, oven's just gonna provide that combination of steam and baking that's gonna just taste better than a microwave will taste, period. So for convenience, 10 out of 10. Taste, we'll say eight out of 10. Uh, price, a little high for my liking, um, but not, not ridiculous. It's still something I'm willing to pay for um, in a pinch or when I really need to. Um, so overall, this uh, non-sponsored uh, review, I, I, the Tovella is worth doing and the meal service is definitely worth trying out. Um, I do have a, a coupon code down in the doobie doo down there. So uh, if you're interested in giving Tobala a try, please use that code. I think you'll save $50 off the purchase of your oven, or at least that's the promo that they have right now. So give that a go uh, and let me know what you think. Uh, if there's anything else you'd like to see me review, any other kitchen appliances, please let me know in the comments below. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We'll talk to you next time.